And if it works, says this thing sucks. Well, <laughs> I can this is it. one of the, the stupidest digi packs ever. Let me see it. Base the base. It's all it paper. paper. No, nothing against the material inside. It's the packaging. Yeah. It's a trifold. Okay. Oh yeah. Right. And the discs are in here. Oh, isn't that nice? Yeah, I know. So you have to. <laughs> like, isn't that it? nice? Ah! And, and you got to try to get your hand in there far enough so you can get the uh, spindle hole. Mm -hmm. right. While you're in there trying to get it, oh, look what happens. It tears. It, 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 it rips. They it rips actually or, have, okay, I understand. Or That's pick a cut. <laughs> they should have made it wider. It, it's tight. It's, it's in there tight. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And middle, in the middle disc, mm -hmm. or disc two is in the middle thing with a thing on both sides like it, it can slide either way mm -hmm. like, what the heck is that? and the other side is you know like you gotta uh, to get I said, this is i'm ruining this thing mm -hmm. yeah so, no. so yeah. If, if you thought that uh abba one was bad this one's worse mm -hmm. so, uh, look look it's trying it's trying to escape already you see that? Uh, did you make a rant video about that doc a little bit. Oh, I, I yes, you cut the cover down to to uh, jewel case size. Put the cover in your jewel case. Make your own back and stick the CD in that. Yeah, yeah look at that. Thing. Trying to get out. It's trying to get out. It's trying to escape. <laughs> well, <laughs> Astro Zombie said that uh, this is that's how the Memphis Recording Service Elvis CDs were released. Do you have those? Um, I don't were know they, if I have those. Are they little think... books like these? Where, see, this is a. I mean, I have. Book. What do I have here? Uh, That's my. This is what uh, I'm using my template as. This is book. No, I mean I have this one, which is. Uh, this is well, this thing way down in the jungle room, you know. Is that it? And uh, it kind of flips like it flips open, but you have the two discs like that. Well, okay, that. it's not like a thickness of a book, like a hardcover book, though. Is it? Um, no, it's it's not that that sturdy. No, uh, I've got something in a book, but I can't remember what it is. Lighting is terrible, is, guys. Th this is what got me because this is as thick as any hardcover book. This is a mm -hmm. book that is thick as a any hardcover you've ever had. Yeah, and it's it's built like a hardcover book. That's what gave me my inspiration, and they've got the book. Yeah. Like, in there yeah i've seen those uh they're hard to uh they're hard to get I mean, yeah and now they just do standard digi pack this was the first series and i loved it and that's what got me interested there you yeah. go 13th floor elevators yeah there was one of uh david gilmore's albums that did the same thing let me and see this is this is in a, a book this it's is a hard cover hey, thing okay. they've stuck a oh that's cool a yep. thing to each side <clears throat> to this that uh, and then oh, they've okay. attached the book in the middle. In the middle. Yeah. Oh, yeah. See that? Fine, if you yeah. don't want. Like, hold so, it side. It's, it's hard. It's, you know, thick cardboard right. like you're mm -hmm. using. Okay. Yeah. Hmm. I knew hold I had something. Like this. Like, sideways. So I can see the spine. Like, hold it like that. <clears throat> I want, like this. Mm -hmm. I want to see the... Like that. I want to see the bend. Hello, George. Hello! Hello. 90 degree, 80 degrees or whatever. 60. You know. Turn it sideways like mine is. You can see it. Oh, oh, like it's it's yeah, thicker want, than you. Okay, yours is square. Okay, mm -hmm. but it's still cool. See, those are yeah, nice. Those are high quality, man. Yeah, it's thicker it because it's got two discs, so it's got two of these plastic things in it. That's why it's thicker. Right. But yeah. it still yeah. has it's got two of those. It still has cardboard at the end. It's not bendable, is it? No, it no, it's it's thick, thick car. It's thick cardboard. Thicker. It's probably like an eighth inch thick cardboard or something. Right, that's super mm -hmm. cool. Because I wish they yeah. made those. You know, yeah. make CDs like that because that would last. Unfortunately, the disc doesn't sound that great. I mean, they did oh. nice packaging, and the <laughs> album. I've heard right. better versions of the album than oh, this. One. It just said the but Beatles are nice one of the packaging. biggest groups, and and they put digi packs out. You know, the Beatles are one of the biggest mm -hmm. groups. They should have nice, nice yeah. hardcover or yeah. like that is a super cover. I'm sorry, sorry, yeah. the album is. I may great. have one or two more, but this is the one that came. To mind. But that is very high quality, and it doesn't cost yeah. that much more technically. You know, the only thing yeah. you have to be careful is is the staples are from the backside of that staples? in the book. Staple. Well, we don't want staples. We'll scratch the CD. 
No, 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 no. It's the booklet stapled from the back where they glue the paper across the whole back. It's stapled yeah. from behind, so you got to be real careful. I've had a couple. Yeah. Of That's why I put material behind mine. It's yeah. The staples. Yeah, I put material behind mine mm -hmm. so it doesn't hold. <clears throat> yeah no that's a great set see that's what the white mm -hmm. album yeah. like for me you know mm -hmm. when I yeah my white album mm -hmm. so, so how can 13th floor elevators be able to afford a, a nice diggy pack like that well, well they didn't this well, is somebody, on charlie out of the uk the record company put a lot of money behind that and yeah, yeah, it's a three issue, the yeah. these other ones charlie oh, does nice oh, things oh. Yeah. Yeah. I just want a top quality, and if you're going to get a digi pack as opposed to whatever, make it quality for God's yeah. sake. Make it, mm -hmm. So the, yeah. the pack goes like this sideways. As soon as you hold it, it starts shifting back and forth. Yeah. Or, yeah. It drives yeah. me crazy. That's, unless, that's what it says, I say so, unless you're selling yeah. stuff for a cheap price. Like if you're if you're selling CDs for ten bucks or less, list. Then go ahead and put it in whatever I you can want understand because you yeah. know you're getting a budget project product. But you're talking like one of the greatest rock and roll bands. Yeah, yeah. Okay. But, you know, you're talking something like you know. Um, if it's Linda Ronstadt's greatest hits, okay, do it. You know. <laughs> these things, and I don't even hate the packaging. Hang on. Yes, folks, welcome to Dizzy Pack Hatred. <laughs> I got some black Sabbath I'm with packs that are too bad. Like, I kind of actually like this packaging, but these things are like five to seven bucks. Oh, those, yeah. There's a bunch but, of other stuff. I hate it's the packaging. Just, it's just a little thing that holds your CD, but it holds it yeah. well. It doesn't scratch it. You can get it out of there really easily. There's just a little lip in the bottom. I kind of like right. this packaging, and it's no, you like really it. cheap. Yeah. Yeah. But it doesn't hurt your CD. And, but I think some of that's even thicker than you know, the for, like pack. seven bucks yeah. or five bucks. That's yeah. fine, I think. You know. Oh, I'm a fan of mini mini LPs or whatever you call them, but I want them a little thicker. That's all. Well, you know, uh, I got one of those playlist ones. Yeah. I didn't like it. I didn't like it. So I, so I put it in a regular. So you oh. fixed it. Yeah. Okay. I, I, I like them. I think it's fine. Oh, I got I mean, a couple of them. They're okay, you know. They do make hubs that you just buy the hub, and it yeah. just makes, like yeah. you can buy it well, right. Actually, what I mean, I this thing no isn't going too. anywhere. But if, you know, it's not That's going anywhere. Mm -hmm. I have actually no problems with either format. But I remember one time a <laughs> journalist in in Sweden, Swedish television, who tried to make an example <laughs> of how to. Uh, <laughs> you have any broken ones you need some more i bought 25 of these because that's how they came Ooh. Ooh. eight I bucks or okay you can glue it to anything and make a cd mm, can make a but they do yeah. sell just this part you can buy as a black hub a clear mm -hmm. hub or a cork hub if you don't want to mm -hmm. screw it and just stick it on anything <laughs> They're made for like sticking on your wall if you want. You put CDs as decorations on your wall. Yeah. And that's when you can use that funny tape you got to stick them to the wall. Yeah, that nano tape. I'm just good. saying, I think they come self self sticky, but I thought of that too, where you just stick one in the middle of the cardboard rather than buy a whole piece. Jorgen, did they sell Pocky in Sweden? I, I think I told Doc and a few other people, but I have been working on this that I told oh. you guys going to do they're like books mm -hmm. instead of, oh yeah oh so yeah it's the, other, it's the other turn of note but they're it's, I forgot how to it's like there a flop, like a what do you call it a, a digi pack but it's yeah. solid like a book it's it's hard yeah, yeah i think yeah. that's cool and mm -hmm. it's gonna have the yeah. place i haven't figured it all out yet but there's a place for the booklet i might change that it folds like a real book. It, it, you know, it's it's sturdy like a book. It's never gonna break on you or bend on you. And I'm, I'm. Um, this is a, a copy. The black ink kept wearing off though, so it was just a fold over to try and experiment. Mm -hmm. And it wasn't quite lined up right on the printer, but so I have to print it out first like this. And then I have lines on the back to tell me where to glue the cardboards and everything, you know, and then wrap it around. Hmm. And it wasn't quite lined up, but it's it's solid. 
So I'm working on it little by little. This is my first prototype, and it came out okay. And then uh, if it works. Where do you get the insides like that uh, that and the uh, thing that the uh, booklet goes in? Well, that I just cut out of cardboard and glued yeah. it in. And then the, the this is cardboard, special cardboard, thicker. And then the outside is a uh, – I just use cardstock temporarily because I don't want to use anything expensive while I'm making prototypes. But the final product is going to be a white linen cover, like, you know, like it's canvas. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to sub sublimate the album cover onto it, almost like a T-shirt transfer, mm -hmm. but it's sublimation. So it's a gas transfer. So it's going to be really deep into the fabric and it's going to feel like texture mm -hmm. and the inside is going to be a ribbed linen type paper and then the booklets are either going to come through the center like normal or in little pockets like this mm -hmm. and then uh, the white album will be this on both sides and then the pocket will come off the, the middle where you put the pictures and stuff and then i'm going to have it embossed mm -hmm. beetles if i can glue the uh, little embossed really thin beetles i can make with a laser thing Mm -hmm. underneath the linen and then glue it in so it looks like it's raised i'm gonna i'm experimenting yeah it sounds awful cool yeah so it's, it's it's time consuming this is a single layer so it's like the thickness of a small thin book but it's twice as heavy duty as a uh, any digi pack you might have gotten you know so, so do you think you might be able to make uh, one of those that can hold two or three discs well yeah but the third disc I've seen them where they do is they put it in the middle that comes out in a pocket. Hmm. You can have one here and one here of this type, but then if you had a third disc, it'd have to go into a pocket. There's no way to put three discs in here. I'd put a separate piece of cardboard and you glue it with a Y, like it spreads out and you glue it in. And hmm. then you could put two of these glued together side back to back to another piece of cardboard. Mm -hmm. work. I mean, I'd have to experiment if I had a four disc set. You'd have one, two, and then two in the center. And then yeah. you have to make it wide enough so <clears throat> your spine, like any book, you make it the width you need. You know, you yeah. can widen the width. But it's, it's just an experiment. Kirk is Star Wars. I don't even like regular Star Wars. <laughs> oh, my God, Joe. You don't know what you're missing. I love oh, Star I know Wars. what I'm missing. I saw it when it came out. Well, then what? I've seen all of them actually, except for a couple of new ones. What the heck are they doing? Uh, <laughs> Wait till you see the Japanese uh, planet of the Apes. You ever see that? Uh, why aren't they just like superheroes? <laughs> hmm. It makes no sense. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's just the trailer. You can make me smile. It's, I don't know. I have the whole movie somewhere, but I just found the trailer. Wow, <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> What's going on? You okay there, Doc? <laughs> <laughs> Doc's losing it. That's the hardest <laughs> laugh I ever saw from <laughs> Oh, I need a minute. <laughs> Holy crap. That only lasted 30 seconds and it was hilarious. We're missing the Super Bowl. Oh, oh. no. Believe me, oh. I'm not going to catch this, the Super Bowl. Believe me. But anyway, it's good talking either. to everybody as always. And, uh, and everybody I take care. Joe. Be well. Yeah. Keep your everybody. chin up. Talk soon. Bye. Bye. Goodbye. Bye bye.